Alright, so, um, here's the deal, guys. We're here, back at Toontown Rewritten. Uh, I... Oh, yeah, I... I got the option of... There we go. I am not gonna be playing this tune right now. Um... But if you missed the last episode, we played this tune, we got... Shadow a, um... A Bloodsucker Summon? That was pretty good. Uh, so, we are going to exit as this tune, and then we're going to play our regular tune. Uh, okay. Oh, it's Dima. Dima's on. Okay, we're going to... Hi, Pi Hi. Hi, Brain Joe. Uh, first I need a water, uh, but then I'm also going to check my catalog. Also, many of you who don't uh, recognize daylight savings time in your your country, in your region, area, whatever. Uh, I'm not late or early or whatever. I am right on time in terms of where I'm at. So, yeah. Uh, we're probably gonna need some gags, too. Oh, wait, I'm not gonna get gags yet. I am going to... I wish we could put, like, patio furniture out here on this, like, little thing, but whatever. Ah. Also, hold on. I'm gonna move this thing. Hold on. It's a stand or a holder for my headphones. That way I can actually properly... There we go. We got a lot of beans. Um, yeah, we got a lot of beans. I should probably also get out of my Halloween attire and get back into my regular attire as well. It's gonna be the same shit every single time. It's always the same thing. Uh, we're gonna do our... That, and then our shoes, the purple shoes for the purple shoe club. Yeah, that, those are the purple shoes. Yeah, we have purple, violet, yellow, and pink. And I think there's green, possibly? I am just... Yeah, I like, I like the eyelashes for Twiggy. Oh, we need to change the bandana as well. Um, I'll do that in a second. Yeah, we're just gonna get back into Twiggy's regular attire here. If I can find the regular attire. There it is. And then the shorts, I, th I don't remember which shorts we were wearing. I think it was like the blue jeans that have kind of like a pink kind of hue over them. No, it wasn't these. Uh, uh, there it is. Kind of like the pinky, purpley kind of hue, and then I gotta get rid of the butterfly wings. Uh, neckwear. We're gonna do the Donald Streamlit necktie or the neck, whatever. There it is. And then the Donald Streamland. There it is. Like the blanket cape. There it is. There she is. She's she's starting to get back to the way she was. Okay. 
So what is the plan for the day? Zero clue. But I need gags really bad. We're gonna go... I should have gotten on Twiggy as well and done the summons thing and gotten myself another summons. Dude, you are in midair right now. So my favorite thing from Toontown Online... Oh, there... I don't even know how these bugs happen, but like people would like jump and get frozen and then people would, you know, teleport to them. They would be, you know, off the ground and then, you know, people would keep jumping and then just get to the fucking sky. It was great. I, I just remember that kind of stuff. And then I know in Donald's Dock there was a patch of, um, fencing that didn't have, uh, clipping to it. Like, so you could just phase right through it and then just go into the endless void it was great um anyway i think we're just gonna keep working on our merits right now uh not yes man i i always thought that was mr hollywood there uh does not nope we do not have a place for that Anyway. I have zero plans for the day. If you couldn't tell. Man, I got zero plan. I don't even think I was gonna be playing this. this I don't think that was the plan. Legitimately, I... I said, wait, hold on. They really nuked every single one of these. Not just like the top three or four. You know what? We're gonna go here. I'm gonna unplug this because I broke my dock for my fucking Nintendo Switch Lite. So, yay! That's gonna be a new Christmas present for me. I can just plug it in straight to the wall. No. Sableye appears. We are gonna deal with uh, Subots today. I need to scooch in. There we go. Brain gel locked out. Oh. Oh. Fuck. We're just gonna do foghorn. Okay, so noted. This thing isn't dead, it's just one leaf died. That's fine, that's fair. Y'all, I love this Bulbasaur, he's great. What was- You're still here- Oh, hey, what's up? I just saw that you're one logged out. Oh, you're in a CFO. Okay. Oh, another leaf! Okay, we're fine. We're okay. J just two of them. It'll be fine. Yeah, I saw. I saw that you said you're in a CFO. Mm, I 
need to get. And laugh. I need to grab another thing of these. More fodder, please. There we go. Now let me go get my gags. <laughs> Bro, you're kind of in the way. I don't think you understand that you're in the way, but you're in the way. Oh god, sorry. I'm in the way now. Stream is behind. Yeah, that's fine. That, yeah, it happens. Wait, is it like lagging or... Okay, we're not like lagging, I don't think. It would let me know. We're good. We don't drop... didn't drop any frames or anything yet. It's just kind of behind. We're good. I think we'll be okay. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna throw that away because I tried to put it back together and it just didn't fucking work. I love life. Did that miss again? The hell? Are you just gonna watch? Okay, I guess you're just watching. Cause I mean, you could cut, like, oh, you're waiting for the building. Okay, you're fine. <sighs> We're good. get some more birthday cakes. Bruh is still in the way. Two jelly beans. I am gonna go into... I'm gonna go on the trolley for like half a second, right? Like one or two just until I get my my life in order. I do appreciate how fast we can run in here, as, as well as in the Donald's Dreamland version of this game. Because you run significantly faster. Everything else is also faster as well. No! No! We got close to perfect, but still not enough. We also need to play one more game because fuck, fuck everybody, I guess. I 
I wish we could run a little bit faster in this one as well. But that's just me. Ah! Uh! Here we go. Is Motherfucker still in the way? He is. Looking for three for a coin mint. No, thank you. I really don't like coin mints or doing mints anymore after that one that we had to do with like 13 bullions or something crazy. I mean, we managed to max out or like, you know, fully train our sound with it though. That was pretty good. Um, yeah, this should... I should get it. Yeah. I'm Mover and Shaker. I'm Twiggy. I'm here for your downfall. Also, today is significantly less windy, so, um, yeah. Also, it was pretty great on Wednesday after I streamed. I decided to clean up my room. And in the corner of my room on the wall, there was a tiny little itty bitty jumping spider. And I'm not normally like, well, here's the thing. I don't like spiders, but I don't want to kill spiders. I don't like killing them because they're pretty good for the environment. So, and they're pretty good for like houses as well to keep the, to keep, you know, in other insects down. You know? You feel me? So, anyway, I called my boyfriend. I'm like, hey, babe, there's a spider on my wall. Can you come help me deal with it, please? He goes, what am I supposed to do? I'm like, I don't know. I can't reach it. I can't put it in a thing. And then <laughs> we had an eight minute conversation about this fucking spider that I was terrified of. And this thing was like this little. Anyway, about half hour later, I lost track of the spider, and it freaked me out. And then I look up, and there's a spider, and it's just, it's on the ceiling. So I call him back, and he goes, yeah? And I'm not just yelling, it's on my ceiling! And he's just dying of laughter, just listening to me have this fucking panic attack about a fucking spider. It was just, it was fun. It was great. What can I... Snap. Oh, I should probably not put it, like, directly there, but... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. But yeah. I love life. This place is great. Uh, what is... Oh, okay. That's as far as over as I can actually put it. Okay. Oh, I was about to say, did they finally get rid of, like, the very, very flat shit? But they did not. Coin mint? I am definitely not gonna do a coin mint, but thank you, though. And I'm probably really late to that, because 
I just was talking about coin mints. So I do not want to do another coin mint. Or another mint in general. Like, please, for the love of God, do not make me do it. I don't want to. Yeah, towards the end of our main, like, freaking storyline quests. So basically, everything that doesn't... They're more fun than factories? Fuck no, they're not. The hell? But yeah, like, towards the end of, like, our main quest line that didn't include field offices, I had to do, like, about, tw like, when I was getting my, um, uh, cash bot disguise, I had to do about, like, I think it was, like, 25, probably? I did a lot of them. I did a ton of them. Fuckload of them. Um, and I, like I said, I at least, uh, trained my, uh, sound to, like, max, basically. And I don't think I'm gonna, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. But yeah, it was, it was great. Also, I know I've been complaining recently of my hands becoming extremely dry. And, fun fact, uh, with my, I don't want to say extreme weight loss, but honestly, losing like 45 pounds in two and a half months, I would say is pretty extreme. Anyway, uh, so, a little bit of background. I got my thyroid kill off because I had a stroke, and come to find out the reasoning, or part of the reason why I had a stroke was my thyroid was, had elevated levels, so I had hypothyroidism. Uh, but that wasn't all, the whole issue, but anyway, so I had to take thyroid medicine for the rest of my life. Anyway. Uh, also, another Pokemon just came into chat. Uh, I have no idea what it is. But anyway, uh, basically to, so basically, it's much easier to kill off your thyroid and make you go hype or give you hypothyroidism. So, like, you have an underactive thyroid and then bring your thyroid levels up than it is to keep your th like hyperthyroid, whatever, and then bring it down. It's easier to do that. It's easier to maintain. It's just generally safer to do. I mean, you're killing your thyroid with radiation, but. That's a whole other thing. Anyway, back to the fucking hand thing. I lost so much weight in such a short amount of time that I my thyroid uh, medication that I'm taking is way too high now, and I went back to being uh, or to back to having hypothyroidism, which caused my hands to go dry, which is really fucking weird. Uh, which is something I didn't even realize happened. So, hold on. Ah, oh god! I'm sorry. To any headphone users, I am so sorry. But yeah! So, I had... Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, but yeah. Uh... Yeah, I like I was in no risk of having a stroke, uh, by the way, with my hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism there. Uh, basically, what caused it is that I had... Okay, so, I know there are going to be people out there who are going to say, Well, this causes your blood to clot anyway. Like, not me. I have a gene mutation that causes my blood to clot significantly more with the presence of estrogen in my system. And I had hyperthyroidism, which causes my hormones to be at... at, at, at ugh. Hold on, I gotta sneeze again. Oh god. No, okay. Okay, so my hyperthyroidism causes your hormones to be kind of elevated, so I was... My body was producing way more estrogen than it needed to 
just maintain itself. And then also I was taking birth control, like the birth control pill. Uh, and this is definitely not me saying nobody should take birth control pills. If birth control works for you, take it, please, for the love of God. Take it. If you're able to get a hold of it, take it, please. Like, if you want to take it, take it. Like, I'm, I'm not going to tell you to not, not to, but anyway, there's always a risk of whatever. The risk that I had was heightened because of my thyroid issues that went undiagnosed and my uh, gene mutation that went undiagnosed. And so I had the gene mutation my entire life, and I have no idea how long I've had Graves' disease, which caused my thyroid issues. Um, but yeah, make sure, you know, but also, I'm going to just say, if you're going to take birth control or take some sort of medication like that, you know, just to, you know, keep your body safe and healthy, go ahead. Hello! Hi! How are ya? But yeah, if you're gonna take medication like that, just make sure you don't have any underlying conditions or issues like I did, cause yeah, all of that could literally almost kill you, like it did me. So yeah, it's great. It's wonderful. I'm alive still, so yeah. Which is good. I'm happy. I, I don't wanna say I'm happy that I went through the experience of having a stroke, but it is definitely a humbling experience, for sure. Definitely. Yeah, definitely be careful with all medications. Just make sure, like I, I, like I was saying, like make sure you don't have any underlying issues that you have zero idea you have. Cause I, like, I had two underlying conditions that I didn't realize I had, and then I took birth control and then had a stroke. So, yeah, that one was fun. Some meds I can't take with it. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, when I had my stroke, I also had to take seizure medications because I was also having seizures at that time. Which, when you have a stroke and seizures, that's not a fun time. But yeah, you, you, you gotta be careful on those seizure medications. You can't really go out and have fun and party and do all those fun things. Cause I had my stroke when I was 23, and it, it, it was just an unfun experience, unfun time. I am going to run. I think I'm gonna run. I don't trust myself in this experience, because I feel like I'm going to die. But yeah, definitely be careful with your medications. Be careful, you know, with your... With everything. Just be careful with your health. Just make sure you're just kind of... Like, if you're able to, make sure you go, like, you know, take your medications every day. Make sure you are taking the correct medications with the correct dosages. Make sure you're going to your doctor's appointments. Make sure you are healthy and safe and happy. Just to the best of your ability. And, you know, if you have, like, mental health issues and you're not able to take your medication every day, make sure you're at least get, giving yourself grace in terms of making sure you get, get your mental health days in, you know, your self-care days. If you like taking baths and reading, go read in the bath if that helps your anxiety or your depression. Go do things that help you, you know? You feel me? Make sure you always put yourself first in every single situation. Because you never know what's going to happen. Also, don't make other people, or don't let other people make you feel guilty for putting yourself first in certain situations as well. Chill with my cat always, yes. My cat is definitely somebody I like to chill out with. You have epilepsy? Oh my god! Welcome to the club! Now make sure you're taking your epilepsy medicine if you have medication for that. Uh, as prescribed. Now definitely make sure you're taking care of yourself daily.
Where am I going? Okay. I am not going there. I'm going over here. But yeah, like I said, definitely make sure you are taking care of yourself. Make sure you are happy and healthy. Always. And also, for example, if scrolling on TikTok for hours at a time helps you feel better, don't let other people make you feel guilty over that. Don't listen to them when they say that's doom scrolling. It's fine. If you're sad and TikTok videos make you feel better, so would be it. There are. There are days where I do doom scroll on TikTok for literally hours, but that's an ADHD thing. And I just lose track of time. And then, you know, I'm sitting on my bed and I'm just scroll, 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 scroll. Oh, that was a good one. Scroll, scroll. Yeah, and then it's three hours later, and I'm like, fuck, I could have been doing anything with that time. But I'm here getting my dopamine hit. I don't know. I, that was a late reaction on my part. Ugh, these cogs suck. What is happening today? Why are all of my gags hit missing? Oh, I did. Is there something happening that I, like, in terms of gags missing? Cause it, this shit sucks. Alrighty, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take off for the day. I hope everybody enjoyed today's stream. If you did, you know where to find me. If you didn't, then that sucks for you. I'm gonna go ahead and take off. Bye!